I didn't know how exceptional her childhood was. I didn't know that she grew up around, you know, Duke Ellington and Ella Fitzgerald and Dinah Washington and all of these music, black musical geniuses. I didn't know that she lived down the street from, you know, um, the Supremes and that, you know, um, Smokey Robinson was her brother's best friend. I didn't know how she was surrounded by musical genius her whole life. And I didn't know about her siblings. I knew nothing about her siblings. And so what was so extraordinary to me was that in a, a family that was surrounded by all of this, I mean, they all grew up in the same house. They were all around these um, incredible geniuses. What, what struck me is that how, how she was able to shine even above that. The only way we thought to get to the joy is to show the struggle. You know, the only way to, for the audience to understand how extraordinary she is is to show what she overcame. That it wasn't just, um, you know, something that, um, you know, she, she had this gift and then she went on to have these hits. You know, it's just, it, it's only, it's, I think the reason why people love Aretha is that because she conveyed so much emotion through her voice and her playing and she was just so honest and people, you know, it's like she, she people, she empathized with the world, you know? And the only way to show that is to, to show the difficulty, is to show the pain. I think Aretha's music is pure healing and pure joy. It's like, there's music for everything. There's music for when you're sad, when you're happy, when you're defiant, when you're, uh, confused. It's like it's almost as she's she's like the soundtrack for of Black America, and America, and the world. I mean, you know, one of the things in the research was just seeing how she was received overseas. I mean, it was you know, and it was incredible her impact. Aretha chose Jennifer to play her in the biopic and uh, Jennifer knew Aretha and sang with her uh, and, and sang her songs uh, years before she passed away. And so it's amazing to see the way she can embody her um, physically, uh, vocally. Um, I had the, um, the privilege of watching her record a few things. And sometimes Jason would say, put some Aretha on it. and. She just like that, she'd sound like Aretha. Marlon is a surprise because he's so likable and he's so charming, and but he still becomes Ted White. He becomes a different person without losing that charm. Uh, it's not an exaggeration to say that it is the joy of my life to be able to bring Aretha Franklin's story to screen. It's, um, it's nothing I take lightly. It's a great responsibility. And I think that one of the reasons why it's coming together is that everyone is, has been in this movie has been touched by Aretha in some way. And we want to honor her and um, respect her in the way that she... Um, honored and respected us in the way that she, you know, she, she touched all of us in different ways and we just want to, um, you know, give her her due, you know, and show the world this, this extraordinary singer is even more extraordinary than you think. Liesl uh, Tommy, my good friend and the director of this movie, has many extraordinary talents. And I thought I knew her, but I've gotten to know her even more during this film, and what she has and from the, is this uncompromising vision and uncompromising morals. Like, she is in this movie um, for Aretha Franklin. She wants to honor and, lo and, and, love, and loves Aretha Franklin, and that's what she does, and nothing deters her from that. She wanted a movie about her life. She wanted people to understand her life. 
and we have one shot at this and we want to get it right. We want to, you know, I just feel like everyone is, there's, there's always been these sort of these moments on set where it's, it's just, honestly, it's just felt electric. And it's just felt like, you know, we are ju we're not even doing this anymore, we're channeling something. And I just feel like there's just moments, like I said, you know, long days and long nights, but the crew is just, they, wanna, they want this to be excellent. And they want it, I just feel like in the end, everyone is really doing this for Aretha.